Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, we got something a little bit different. And well, you know what, what it is based on the title, but you may not exactly know what this item does. And I'm gonna unbox for you a super gun that I purchased. Now, if you don't know what a super gun is, as far as how one relates to an arcade or the arcade hobby, uh, a super gun is an item that lets you play arcade PCBs on your TV. Now, here's the deal. These are not necessarily new. Super guns have been around for quite some time. Um, probably about 10 to 15 years ago, I think the most popular super gun system, I think, was called MAS Systems. I can't remember specifically, but it was pretty nice. You could play your, you know, your games on your TV and you could get... Uh, a six button controller, a uh, joystick uh, control stick. It was really cool. I don't think they exist anymore, that company. Um, this particular item I purchased from um, uh, Singapore, sorry. I got it on um, AliExpress or AliExpress, however you pronounce it. Now, I really was waiting for a, a well-known seller here in the United States to start making super guns again. Uh, that would be Jamma X Nation. Um, but uh, he he's not hasn't made any more quite yet, and I'm not sure when he will. When he does, I'd love to pick one up and, uh, you know, review that one and take a look at it. But for the time being, I thought I'd purchase this item. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Our, uh, what is that? It's our power cable. Look at, looks like it's got some dried sticker residue. Can't focus. There we go. Interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Okay, you know what that is for. This is actually, should be our JAMA connector. This video is actually going to take, take over um, a couple days to make. The reason being is it's getting dark. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, so there's the rest of our power supply. And got some more wires. Not quite sure what these are for. Guess I'll find out. But here's the main thing. Let's take a look. I'm gonna have to get some scissors. All right, we're back. Got this open, cut. This is just the first part of this video. Um, it's probably gonna be a really long video. Item is packaged very nicely. This came from Singapore. Really cool. All right, got some more unpackaging to do. And I'm gonna need the scissors again. So, one moment. Okay, we're back. And before I do the big reveal here, um, if, you'll, if you've been following my videos or my channel, you'll know I've gotten rid of all of my arcade cabinets, but I've kept some of my arcade PCBs. And until I can find a cabinet that I really want, a really, really nice, nice looking one that I'm going to, you know, use as my main or my, as my only cabinet, you know, I still want to play my games. So I thought might as well get this super gun. 
Is it going to be as good as a CR, playing this on a CRT TV? No. But it's better than nothing, and it gives me something to record. So here we are. And look at that. Very nice. And what this is, it's a JAMA and MVS super gun. Now we'll take a look at the front here. Now, controller-wise, you can hook up um, an SNK pad or a Sega Saturn pad. Looks like you got a power switch here. Take a look at the sides. Test. Okay, voltage. Nice for when you're trying to adjust your the power on your PCB. Okay, out is JAMA or in is JAMA, out is MVS. Very nice. Now we'll take a look at the back here. 12 volt DC, JAMA in, okay. RGBS out. That's a SCART cable, I believe. S video and then you got your audio visual here and I'm gonna go with this hookup um, the only reason because that the only reason is because this is probably the hookup most people will have and again my channel is for people who are new to the hobby and who can use things that they probably already have but this is very nice it looks very very cool Now this is the version 2, uh, it's got updated software, I'm going to really enjoy trying this thing out. Okay, so that's that, uh, I'm going to go hook this up, get it tested out, and uh, I'll eventually record another part of this video. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to keep going, and let me show you something else. Okay, so as you're looking at this, you can see this is where you put your MVS cart, but you're probably thinking, well, how do you hook this up to a JAMA game? Well, right there. So what you do is you're going to connect this cable to there, and the other side is going to go to this. And this is where you plug in your JAMA board. Now, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but it looks like this might be for maybe your kick harness I'm really not sure I gotta look into it but uh, oops focus uh, let me just go through the testing phase and we'll see how this works out alright so here we are now I originally told you that I was just gonna go with a very simple hookup using these type of cables Everyone probably has them in their house somewhere. You probably have them in a junk drawer. Your standard yellow, white, and red connections. You got the super gun hooked up here. Very simple. Your power. This is for your JAMA board. And, of course, this goes to your TV. Now, I'm going to show you why you don't want to use these connectors. The picture is very, very bad. Um, just going to show you a quick demonstration, but yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use my multi, uh, Neo Geo cart here. Uh, one of the reasons is the loading, the game selection picture, uh, the screen itself, very simple colors, and you can easily see why you don't want to use this hookup. So give me one second. All right, so everything's connected up. I'm gonna turn it on right now, and let's take a look at this glorious visual demonstration. Now, you can probably see why we don't wanna use this connection. Um, 
in real life without looking through the camera, it looks extremely worse. Let's just go ahead and uh, select a game here. Look at that, you see how it's, it's struggling to show a connection. Look at that. Now results may vary from TV to TV, but yeah. And like I said, let's see if I can get a closer image here. I mean, yeah, it's just a horrible, horrible picture. So let me show you the right way to connect things. All right, so how do you connect this? Well, we're going to do this the expensive way. What we're going to need is a scan converter. Now, you can get a scan converter pretty cheap. Um, they don't cost that much. However, the one I, I got, this bad boy, this one does cost a lot. Open source scan converter by Kaiko. Anyways, the reason I got this one is because this has a lot of features and options that you, you can't find on your cheap scan converter. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to get into those right now because that's there's enough information there for a whole new video. But it is really, really nice. Uh, it's going to cost you some money. This is, you could probably get one for about $200. So, yeah. But the visual picture is 100 times better. Now, how do we go about connecting this? Well... You're going to need some more stuff. You're going to need a SCART cable. I got I, all the stuff I got on Amazon. This is actually a Sega Genesis Model 1 SCART cable. You're going to need some sound cables and an HDMI cable. So first thing we do, take our SCART connection, and we're going to hook it up to the back of our super gun, which is right there. All right, take our other end, and we are going to connect it right there. Pretty simple. You got this other cable right here connected to your SCART cable. Don't worry about that. Next, sound. Your little sound cables. Again, you can get these on Amazon. Connect them right there. You got your white and your red down at the bottom. Trying to get through this pretty fast. I don't want to spend too, too much time. Okay. Your other end, you're going to connect. Where is it? Right here. Can you see that? Is it focused? There we go. Right there. Now, your HDMI cable is going to go from here to your TV. I'm going to cut away and do that. There's no reason for you to see that or care about that. But we also need power. And your power cable, which unfortunately is not on camera for the scan converter, gets put in right there. All right, give me a second to cut away. Yes, everything's messy here. Um, I really don't have a dedicated place for all this, so I kind of just, you know, build it up and take it down when I want to play a game. The reason is I want to play a game on my living room TV. All right, let me go ahead and cut. 
All right, so before I turn this on, we need to go over controller options. Now the Super Gun gives you the option to use a Sega Saturn controller or a Neo Geo controller. Um, I don't care for either one, at least for playing arcade games. And the Neo Geo joystick, I don't care for. I never cared for the button format. So, what do I use? Well, I am using a Mad Cat stick. This specifically is the Tournament Edition um, Street Fighter V stick. Now, how do I go about using this? Well, again, we're going to have to spend some money. And what I got here is this bad boy. And this is a PlayStation 4 to Neo Geo connection adapter. Uh, this one is made by, was it Brooks? I can't remember. Yeah, Brooke. Uh, this one, this connector, I think is about 40 bucks, but it allows you to connect pretty much any um, PlayStation 4 controller, whether it's a standard um, Sony controller or in this case, a Mad Cat stick. And so that's what I use for the connection. Now, again, you can go on a whole new video about this thing, but there's plenty of those out there. When you get it, your standard button format is A, B, C, D. Uh, you can eventually change it, I think, if you want to A, B, C, D, or A, B, C, D. I'm just going to leave it as is. I got some different uh, plans as far as button configuration, you know, how I intend to play Street Fighter. But, yeah, that's how we go for connection. Now, let's get back to turning this thing on. All right, so we got our scan, our scan converter here. And we're going ahead and flip this switch on. And there we go. Now, I haven't turned on the super gun yet. But what we're going to want to do is change this to AV1. Now let's go ahead and turn on our super gun. And there you can see it's connected. And now we're gonna get a better picture. So let me actually turn it off. That way I can turn it back on. You can see the picture as it turns on. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to turn this on now. First thing that you need to understand, is the picture going to look as good as a nice fresh CRT monitor from back in the day that just came off the factory assembly line? No, you will never get that great of a picture unless you want to spend an obscene excessive amount of money or you're able to track down a nice CRT monitor and recap it. <clears throat> so. Let's get this going. Already much better. And look at that. It's not struggling at all for the picture. Now again, I wanted to show you this particular loading screen because it's very, very simple. You got simple colors. If your white, red, and um, yellow cables cannot handle these simple colors, how do you think it's going to handle a CPS2 cart or a CPS2 um, game? How do you think it's going to handle uh, something with a lot of colors? So, let's just go to the game we selected before and look at that. It's not, it's, there's no struggle. Uh, I believe it was Samurai Showdown 4. And again, this is the multi-cart um, multi for the Neo Geo. It is a bootleg because they don't make an official multi-cart. Uh, Darksoft makes a multi-cart, but it's very, very expensive. Um, not saying it's not worth it, it's just not worth it for me. All right, so let's go ahead and...
Again, the scan converter uh, has a bunch of different options to get as close to your original picture as possible in terms of arcade perfect. I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm gonna just show you what loads up as is. I'll probably make a video in the future, but this thing has many, many options. And you can even see it includes a remote. Just give you a quick look right there. I mean, you can change your scan lines, you change your video. It's it's a great piece of hardware. But yeah, look at this. Again, it's not arcade perfect. It's not going to be the exact same image you see on a CRT. Button connections are not good. I haven't played this game in I don't know how long. Well, now let's get to some JAMA games. Now, again, we have our option for JAMA or MVS. If, we, if that button is pushed out right there, it's for MVS. If it's pushed in, it's for JAMA. Our JAMA connection is this cable right here, which connects to this bad boy right here. So, let me go ahead and hook up a board and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so right here I got my Area 88 game connected. It's a really fun game. I really enjoy it. Uh, we got the JAMA connection all hooked up. Now a reminder, you can control your 5 volt output uh, with the little knob that's connected to your super gun. It's right there. It kind of blends in with the black cable. But you turn the knob and you can adjust your voltage. So let's see how this one plays. All right, so here we go. Look at that. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and play like the first level here just to make sure everything works pretty good. Seems I don't have sound. That could be because my board itself is has issues. Oh, sorry, I do have sound. What that means is the sound on my board um, needs to be replaced. The, the sound um, chips or you know what I'm talking about. I adjusted the sound on my board. You know what? I'm gonna let's redo this. Sorry, 
I picked the wrong character. All right. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit longer than I anticipated, but there we go. Not doing so well here. It's been so long since I played this. I can usually get through the first level without uh, taking a single hit. Let's give you a close-up look. We're just gonna, not even going to play the, the whole level here. Just want you guys to see a little bit better. It, in person, it even looks better. So what do you say we try another game right now? All right, up next is WrestleFest. And we got a picture. Give you guys some sound there. It's probably gonna end up being a really long video, but I just wanted to show you guys what's possible. Thank you. 
Oh, I did not know they could do that. I just want to meet, uh, beat this uh, team and there you go. So that's it. We'll turn that off, and now you guys can see the potential of a super gun. Great system. Um, I'm very happy with everything. Costs a lot um, when you think about when you add everything up, but you know I need an option to play my games, seeing as how I got rid of all my cabinets. So I could support my new pinball habit. Um, but anyways, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, kind of messy, but uh, definitely well worth it. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.